Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to talk about the difference between having a PowerPoint presentation laid out as a storyboard or laid out as Microsoft would dictate using bullet lists and just following a list down through a presentation. So I've got a couple of examples of what I'm talking about here. And if I just put this into full screen, you can see the difference. So when I put this into full screen, I'll get the title. Now, if I click through this to the next slide. Now, this first slide is a storyboard or what I call a storyboard. And if I'm talking about climbing or getting to the top of a mountain, I've got different ways to get up to a mountain. So this one, I could talk about walking up or hiking up a mountain. Press enter, get another one. You get to the top. There's a picture of the top of a mountain with two hikers. Another way to get to the top would be to climb, physically climb up a mountain, talking about the picture, or a lazy man's way is to get on a cable car or a gondola, whatever that's called, and have a ride up there. But the easiest way, of course, is to get in a car and drive up to the mountain as far as you can go. In some cases, you can get to the top. So that is what I mean if you're going to use a storyboard as a slide. You get the picture coming on, or the object coming on, you talk about it, you do the next picture, and there's no lists anywhere. However, next slide is a list. So this is how, when you create a PowerPoint presentation, you have a title slide usually as default, and then the next slide will be a bullet list, which is what this is. Then you talk about walking to the top of the mountain. You talk about climbing to the top of the mountain, but no images. You might have an image, but it's taking you down a set structured way of doing a PowerPoint presentation, following a list. Cable car, driving a car up to the top. So what I want to look at is, is it better to do a storyboard or is it better to have a bullet list? In my experience, the storyboard method wins hands down every time. Bullet lists, even with images, can be very, very boring and disengaging. Where when you do a, when you do a storyboard, it's nearly always engaging, and we all remember pictures more than lists. So hopefully, this little video was of use to you. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you on the next one.